a boost of energy, more money in your pocket, and better sleep. After another pandemic year, who doesn't want to start off 2022 with these perks? Well, experts say taking part in dry January could deliver all of that and more. Millions of people are planning to take a break from alcohol the whole first month of the year. In the UK, an estimated 7.9 million people are planning to take part. That's one in seven of all UK adults. Alcohol Change UK started the Dry January campaign in the UK in 2013, and it's catching on in other parts of the world. This is a really growing movement. More and more people are seeing the benefit of having a month off alcohol. We've all had such a miserable, difficult, challenging couple of years with the pandemic ongoing. I think it's right that a lot of us have, have looked inside ourselves and thought, what do I want my life to look like? How can I take steps to make it feel better, for me to feel more in control? And cutting out alcohol, even just for a month, is a really effective way of doing that because it enables you to, to learn some tools and techniques to take more control of your drinking in the months and years to come. Dry January is aligned to the larger Sober Curious movement that's gaining traction among younger generations. In years gone by, I think there was a lot of sober shaming that took place. People would question, why on earth aren't you drinking tonight? I think that's vanishing and I think younger people don't see that as a normal or acceptable thing to do. And I think that's a brilliant development. And the growing interest in choosing not to drink alcohol isn't just limited to January. The no alcohol industry boomed during the pandemic. Sales of non-alcoholic drinks surged 33% to $331 million in the year through October 2021. That's according to Nielsen data. And the trend has caught the attention of some of the world's largest distillers. Health and wellness has been a, a major trend that's been evolving for a number of years now. It's impacted many, many industries and uh, the alcoholic beverage industry is, is no different. Um, people are looking to consume in moderation. We're seeing people consume uh, better quality, more super premium um, categories and brands as well. Uh, but we're responding to that. We're responding to that with our innovation. We're launching uh, multiple uh, low alcohol and no alcohol brands into the marketplace. In fact, Grey Goose Essences, which I've got just here, is a lower alcohol content uh, brand. And uh, we've launched that in the last nine to 12 months. It's been one of our most successful innovations. So the key for us is to respond to what the consumers are asking for. So a huge range of non-alcoholic drinks could take the edge off dry January. But what are the health benefits of ditching booze for a month? There are things that you'll see immediately. So you might sleep a bit better. You might see your skin improve. You might feel more energetic, a bit more cheerful. There are also the things that you can't see that are perhaps longer term benefits. The improvements in your health, essentially. So you're, you're perhaps lowering your blood pressure. You're lowering your risk of, of lots of different health conditions. You are also reducing the cancer related proteins in your blood. You're taking the chance to socialise without alcohol. You're teaching yourself how to have a good time, how to decline a drink. And those are things that will stand you in really good stead for the rest of the year. So what about you? Are you joining Dry January?